fashion. It's Paris. It's Couture Week. This is the place billionaires go clothes shopping. It's where the world's top designers show off their handmade collections, and a single dress can set you back the price of a small house. But what goes into a £100,000 frock? To find out, I've bagged myself an exclusive pre-show peek inside one of the most powerful and iconic brands in the world, Chanel. As well as having the desirable quilted arm candy, its classic elegance combined with street style is a big hit with celebrities. From Madonna, Agnes Dean, Sarah Jessica Parker and Claudia Schiffer. Chanel is just extreme elegance, yeah. but always with a um, little twist to it. There's always something funny or like, with a sense of humour. Its artistic director, the multi-talented Karl Lagerfeld, is deep inside Chanel HQ where rooms and rooms of seamstresses are putting the final touches to Autumn Winter 08, his 52nd couture collection for the label. The show is less than 24 hours away, but he's agreed to see me. It's a uh, fashionista fantasy, basically. You okay to be filmed? Are you ready to be? Yes, yes. Yeah? Did you ever get nervous at all? No, I hate that. No, no, you know, one has to control the situation because if I get hysterical, frantic, and nervous, it would be bad for the other people. We all have to concentrate on the finishing yeah. part of the collection and not to get too emotional about it. Huh? How do you relax? I'm when always you're not I don't have to relax. I'm a relaxed person. You're huh? in a permanent state of relaxation. Okay. Indifference does that to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, this pink one. It's that fun. looks fantastic. This is a dress I saw in my sleep. Yeah? Yes, you dream design? Yeah, not a dream, but somebody I see in the early morning I see things and put it on a piece of paper. Huh? Yeah? And c don't question them. It's very strange, but you cannot count on it. Huh? It doesn't happen every day. Huh? How do you keep motivated? How do you keep wanting to design and moving forward? The worst of the worst is when you get what the French say, blasé. Huh? Yeah. When you, this is horrible. I'm not blasé. I always have the feeling I did nothing and I still have to make an effort to do it. The estimated global pool of couture clients is just 2,000. So how does this elite art form survive? In the past, the rich woman bought seven, eight dresses. Now, the new rich woman, they buy 30 dresses in 15 minutes. Huh? Wow. Imagine dropping three million pounds in 15 minutes. The world is so different that you cannot compare. Uh, that's why it's more than a future, because it's a reality in a world where money changed hands. Well, when you think that it takes up to 15 people nearly 500 hours to sew on the sequins and get each garment ready, no wonder the prices are going through the roof. It's far more intricate than I imagined. Clients can buy their very own one-off, made-to-measure version, adjusted to their own tastes and specifications. Coco Chanel once said, you can't buy style. I wonder if Carl agrees. Do you think that uh, a sense of style is something that people can obtain by buying you know, your the clothes? important thing is to have your style. Huh? Even people who have no style, if they're happy with their, what we consider lack of style, that's their problem. You know? What do you think about what I'm wearing? What do you think about my outfit? I mean, I see your blouse and your little thing. I think you look perfect. You look like a modern woman or modern girl should look. Huh? Okay. Exactly. So huh? could I be a Chanel woman? Why not? You know, I hate girls or even boys when they wear one label and it's only that label. It's the day of the show. Carl may think it's unstylish to be a label slave, but it's a message that hasn't got through to all his customers. Black and white Chanel uniforms and linking sea handbags are out in force. Everyone's wearing Chanel jackets, a heel, um, a lot of navy cream or black. I can't imagine how much it all cost. But if the super rich are busting the budget, the couture show itself has required the work of over 2,000 people, all for 15 minutes of fashion magic. These garments may be out of reach, but no doubt there'll be a version of them appearing in your wardrobe sometime soon. He may be the king of couture, but in some way he influences what we all wear. I'm caught up in the atmosphere and join in with the throng pushing to get a piece of Carl. I want to join their elite club of clients, but 
I'll be needing a major discount. Congratulations, it was amazing. If I were to try and buy one of the pieces in the collection, do you know how much it would cost me? You don't have to try, you just buy. I don't know. £25,000 to £100,000. OK, I'll start saving. Who needs a house? For those with less cash to splash, you could try your local Chanel branch for Carl's off-the-peg collections. Yes, I want this. You may still fail to find a bargain, but trying on is free. It's beautiful, and it should be, because it's... <laughs> 21? Surely not. Sorry, I think I've got the wrong figure. No, it really is 21,630 euros. Well, to transform myself into a Chanel girl, I've blown the budget at just under £19,000. Worth it, though. I'm loving this shoulder candy. This is making me happy.